The silence has been broken. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Sketch. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about Animal Crossing. We're here to talk about the Nintendo Direct that was announced and all things I want to see from this thing. What's going on? So, first of all, yes, finally Nintendo has spoken. It's been a hot minute, right? It's been, I'd say, like a month now since the Smash Direct. So, we haven't heard from Nintendo in a long time. And even then, like, we had the Pokemon Direct, which is like more Pokemon Company, and Smash is more Sakurai. So so it's like it's nice to have a Nintendo specific thing here. Plus, before we get into talk about the Nintendo Direct, uh, it is important to put out that the one person who is good with leaks, that Zippo, uh, who doesn't really say much, which is good. Um, he was the one who originally said this month that we were getting two directs and that we'd be getting something on the 20th, which we are, which is the Animal Crossing. So we could be seeing a Nintendo Direct next week. And in fact, I'd be betting on it, but no one trusts me anymore, so that doesn't matter. So, let's talk about the Animal Crossing Direct. So, I just want to give a big shout-out to my friend Sarah. Uh, Sarah gave me a bunch of notes here about Animal Crossing of things we haven't seen yet and things uh, fans really want to see. Because, again, I'm more... I was casual, I mean, I loved Animal Crossing New Leaf, and I played a lot of Happy Home Designer, but I really want to be sure I get all the good points of what we don't know, and what we should know so far for the game uh, coming up, because I haven't kept up with all the little things, like little magazine fucking entries and shit like that that people have been examining. So, let's go through the bullet board. So, first of all, things we don't know about Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons yet. First, the big one. Shops, museums, etc. Uh, when and how they are added to island. So yeah, I mean, one thing I've noticed right is that the island looks fairly small. So I don't know if you're gonna go to us like a specific island for those uh, shops, or if you're gonna be able to expand the island. I would love and assume and hope that we could expand the island. I don't know about that, but we'll find out about that soon. Uh, special character roles, right? So that means characters like, what's Isabel gonna be doing this time around? What's KK Slider doing? What's Tom Nook doing? What's, you know, all the, the main role characters, what are they gonna be doing? Is Cap'n gonna be there? Are you gonna be able to go to a special different island or are you already on an island? I don't know, right? We need to know this shit, right? And I, I'm assuming Isabel this time is gonna be maybe like an event coordinator, kind of like, you know, when you're on an island and there's that one person that hosts like all the party events and stuff. Like, I feel like she might take on that role. KK will continue to do his little concert. Rossetti's fucking dead, maybe. We don't know. I mean, I think he's gonna, I think they said in an interview that he has a different role, uh, but we're gonna find out about that soon. So next up, we also have obviously a um, house upgrades. That's obviously a big thing about Animal Crossing in general. How what are what are the house upgrades gonna look like? How many bells are gonna be required? I don't think they're gonna get to how many bells are required, but they will give us those kind of upgrade instructions and how to earn bells easily. I think obviously a big thing is like activities, right? Like what activities are gonna are we gonna be doing to earn bells? Because I always felt like in New Leaf, it really did feel like we had certain things we had to do to earn bells that weren't big and profitable, right? So I'd, I would love if this time around there were more events, more things you could do overall just to get more bells and shit. So that's another thing. What else? What are the notes that she gave me here? Um, new villagers, special characters, bugs, fossils, and fish. Obviously, I mean, this is like mainstay stuff. Like, how are we going to be getting fish? Is there going to be new ones and fossils? I'm sure the fossils will be back. Um, what else? New villagers, special characters. Those would be characters that would show up every so often and like give you like, I don't know, a special item or a special thing they kind of show up on different days so i'm sure that'll be detailed and explained in there what else we got here uh if public work projects are coming back or if those items will be considered furniture items that can be placed whenever so yeah in the in new leaf there were certain items that you could only place on the exterior that were considered special work projects as opposed to furniture items um and there'd be stuff like i don't know a swing set or like a little bridge or something around the island i hope those come back obviously like the island we know that there's going to be stairs so you can multi layer the island in some way so i'm really i really do hope and think that you can expand and do crazy shit with the island so that's another one um info about bags different types of bags based on screenshots fix bugs and all this shit designing there's been no mention of designing how are we going to make intricate pixel by pixel designs like in the pa past etc what options do we have for clothing design so yeah i mean that's a big one. People really love the clothing stuff. I feel like I've never been big into the clothing stuff in there. Uh, but, I mean, hey, like, I'm down for anything. Let, give me some good... I just want other people's designs. Just give me your designs. I'm not gonna fucking design pixel by pixel shit. Uh, new KK Slider songs, right? Is KK gonna be like... Or is he gonna go like... You know, like, what, what, what's the KK gonna do, boys? 
Um, and then here, what else we got? We got how character customization is going to work, especially while still keeping the natural immersive feeling of the game. Maybe you're on the plane going to your island and a special character hands you down a mirror or something. That's kind of fucked up. But yeah, I guess, yeah, basic character customization, which you'll be able to unlock, which you'll have in the beginning. So those are those are things we have not seen yet, don't know yet. Now, I asked her to give me a category of things you want to see or, that, or brought back from past games. Messages in a bottle. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Does that mean I can just send someone a message in a bottle and someone on the ocean will find it? I don't know. Morning yoga, that sounds horrible, and I never want to do that ever in a video game. Uh, spicy, rude villagers with attitude. That's kind of clean. So you're going to put me in the game? I like that. I like where your head's at, Sarah. Um, bring back old villagers who are not present in New Leaf. I mean, obviously. Didn't we just get, like, recently... We got, like, what, 250 renders of characters? It wasn't 250 characters because some of them were multiple shots in there, but obviously that's a big one. Uh, amiibo cards and figures, especially considering that villagers have been redesigned. See, I think this time around, amiibo might be dropped. Like, I think maybe they'll do a thing where if you use an amiibo you have, you get, like, a fucking... I don't know, like a custom piece of furniture or some shit, but I do think for the most part, it's gonna be like kind of a, a, a bleh for Amiibos. Like they just kind of don't support them anymore. Like they make a few, I mean, they still make the Smash ones, but Amiibo is effectively dead for now. So I don't see any major usage of Amiibo cards or stuff. And obviously the big one that she could have said, I would have said is the holidays, right? Like what are they gonna do for events like, like New Year's or like Christmas or like Valentine's Day or fucking, I don't know, Hula Hoop Day, like what are they gonna do for all these things? How are they gonna roll that out? Also DLC, right? Like, I mean, well, we've had DLC before, like, how are they gonna roll out content? Is it gonna be like monthly updates of, hey, here's new furniture, here's new shit, because obviously we live in a different era, and what's it gonna be, what's gonna be like the flow of that, right? Uh, observatory and constellations and town ordinances. So those seem to be the things that uh, we don't know yet and wanna see, uh, and things, other stuff I'd like to see, again, like I said, I wanna see new activities, new mini games. Obviously, I want to see like how the eight player island works. Like, are we just going to be like, what activities can we do as eight players? Is it just going to be running around and fucking with people? Or is it going to be that you can like, you know, can you choose which villagers come to your village this time? Can you not? Well, what's with that's why this direct is so important. That's why I'm really excited for it. Uh, and I'm just hoping for these fun, exciting things. I hope they bring back the Nintendo furniture because I remember in New Leaf, there was a uh, Nintendo furniture, like a lot of Mario stuff. Like I remember I had a room that was dedicated to just like Mario and arcade shit. So I really hope they do that. And again, it's like the game has so much promise with it being on an island and with you being able to put basically furniture or whatever the fuck you want anywhere i think there's a lot of potential but again i just want to see that the island can maybe expand and i want to see what new characters that what what's the i feel like we don't know necessarily what the hook is i know the hook is the island but i want to know if there's some kind of big mechanic we don't know about yet or new thing in general because i want to know that and like i said i want more events during different times of days because for example when I was in high school, right, playing this game, I would always come back from home, 6 p.m. or some shit, uh, and then I'd be playing at night, and because it's nighttime, shops are closed, there's nothing to do, so I mean, I would like, I would like more nighttime events, uh, just so I can constantly feel like I'm playing it and not feel like, well, fuck, because I'm playing at night, I've got only an hour uh, to play this game, so I hope they just add more events, and yeah, it's gonna be a really exciting show, it's about 25 minutes long, which is a lot of time to give details for an individual game. I mean, think about it. A Nintendo Direct alone is like 35 to 40 minutes. So, I mean, this is going to be a big one. Let me know what you guys think. What are you excited to see for the new Animal Crossing? I just want I just want to see more. Again, like, I'm already in. I'm already getting it. I'm already hyped. Uh, but I just want to see what's the big exciting stuff that's going to be in there. Of course, I will do a reaction to it as I always do. I'm sure it's going to be a little more tame because it's Animal Crossing. I'm going to be like, oh, that's fucking cool. Oh, they're bringing this guy back. Oh, Isabel. Oh, so yeah, that's it. That's all. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. I love you.